All right, guys, what we're doing today is we're actually going through and we're vaccinating and uh, deworming. Um, some of them are actually our buck today. Uh, we'll do our does later on. And this is our some, some two-year-olds that we've got that might possibly make breeder bucks for us. So what we're doing is we're doing a shot of antibiotics, a uh, what they call long-range dewormer. The first time we've ever used it, so we're going to try it out, see if we have better luck with it this year. A vitamin B and BOCI shot. We've got our custom vaccine. And we have our Myco B vaccine, which is prevents mycoplasma, which we've had some on the farm, so that's why we vaccinate for it. Um, otherwise, it really wouldn't be necessarily, but whenever you do see a case of it, it seems to be um, coming to a pen pretty hard. So that's what we're doing. We're going to show you kind of how we do it. Uh, hopefully, things will go smooth for it. We ran a few through this morning with had, had, had antlers. Anything that's had antlers, we go ahead and cut them off, just so that way when we run them through in two weeks to give them an EHD vaccine um, and they will get that and one other vaccine and that way they're done for the year and they're set up and ready to go for all summer to, to grow some hopefully some good size animals. So. People might think it's cruel to put these animals through the shoe. It's actually easier on them than darting them. And what we found, and on top of that, it's people think it's cruel doing this to them, but at the same time, but it's more cruel for them to die from something that causes like a, a serious illness like the mycoplasma or the, the lumpy jaw or something like that. We prefer to actually prevent those problems first of letting the animals suffer. So what, when I said the EHD vaccine, what a lot of people misconceive it as is actually CWD. CWD and EHD are two different things. Uh, EHD is commonly known a lot of times in the, in the hunting world as blue tongue. Uh, blue tongue and EHD are both viruses, both act pretty well the same way. Um, they, are, they will basically kill the deer, bake them from the inside out. Um, it's transferred from a midge fly. Um, you'll see it a lot of years in droughts or around, you'll find dead, dead deer around ponds water sources, um, you know, it's just, they're trying to stay cool because their body is literally burning up. I've seen them register 109, 110 degrees um, easily, if not 115 before. Um, and normally you get them up that high, they're pretty well done for. Um, is it something that we, we've been pretty fortunate and not had a whole lot of problems with, but it doesn't give us any reason not to vaccinate. Vaccination reduces your, your uh, you know, your chances of them actually contracting uh, the virus uh, drastically, uh, it's probably, I know we've seen some this last year that literally laid on the ground for like three days. Um, you thought for sure that they were gonna be dead and you know, on the third or fourth day, they're up and they're moving again and it's like, wow. And that's what the vaccination does for us is it allows the animal to survive when they do contract the virus. Now, the difference between CWD and EHD is CWD, that's what the problem is, is a lot of people think they're the same thing because the media publicizes CWD every year right around the time when EHD and blue tongue is being affecting the deer herd. 
Um, it affects the wild deer as well as it affects the, you know, the, the preserved deer. So what we, what you have is CWD is actually a prion disease that actually affects the brain while EHD affects the whole body. And it goes in and it does a whole, that they act completely separate. CWD is going to take, it should take a fairly long time, up to about three years to kill an animal. Um, they can still have babies. They can still produce antlers. They're, it's called wasting disease because it takes them a while to deteriorate. More than likely, they are going to die from a couple different things before they ever die from a CWD case. That is going, they're going to die from either a pneumonia or you know EHD or a bullet more than likely before they are coyotes or dogs or something like that before they will die from CWD. I'm not saying that they won't die from CWD, but they will more than likely die from something else first. So what's the difference between that and EHD? EHD kills thousands of deer a year, and that's why we vaccinate for it, because we have the ability to vaccinate for it. And that's what's very nice for us to do is if it's, does, it, as it, does it cost us money? Yes, but you know, even at 10 or $20 a shot, it's a lot more valuable to us to spend that money than it is for that animal to die. So that's why we do it. If you guys have any questions or concerns, reach out to us and we'll try to do the best we can. And again, thank you Medjean for providing the vaccines. We, they provide our custom vaccine for us and they also provide our EHD vaccine. So thanks again. Hey guys, Donald here with Oak Creek. Hey, I just wanted to add a little bit about what Nick was talking about when he was working the deer the other day. Uh, he was talking about the differences in EHD and CWD, and, uh, and everybody gets them so confused. I'm scared to even use the word EHD anymore. You know, Nick's, Nick's right that EHD kills thousands and thousands of deer every year. CWD, it does kill deer, but it's a, it's a political disease. But, um, you know, and he was showing us vaccinating for EHD, and, and we, we try to keep that, in, you know, keep that in check on our farm. But we were doing something for CWD as well. If you noticed, Jake was running around to the front of the deer every time it came through. He, we got these little, basically let's just call them test tubes or they're, they're, you know, that we put into a gun and he takes a little punch out of their ear and that's taking a DNA sample out of, out of each deer that we work. What we're doing is we're running that in. We have found a genotype in the deer that um, allows us to breed CWD, more CWD resistance. Um, it's new, it's, um, it's not real new. We, I think we've been doing it on the farm for four to six years. I don't know exactly when we started really doing this hard and heavy, but now every one of our deer are DNA and, um, you know, and we're breeding that genotype into our deer. Just about all of them got it in well. Every one of them got it in it now. And most of them are double markered and we're working on GEBVs and Ds and a lot of that's way over your head. But I just wanted to say, you know, we are working on CWD and the deer industry has, has the smoking gun for CWD. We can eliminate CWD. We, and they can eliminate it in the wild as well. Uh, they're just gonna have to start taking DNA samples and finding out where there's pockets of deer that are resistant, that are not resistant and stop killing the resistant deer. So, um, but if you notice, Jake was running around in front of the deer and you'll see that. And I uh, just wanted to, to kind of clarify that we are working on CWD. It's not that we don't worry about it and not that we're not tremendously worried about it, uh, but uh, that's what we were doing on that video.